they're making it seem as if the men have to be really tough. And then, if we go back to this, you'll notice that they're literally, they're just riding unicorns and doing things that are quite easy. Um, whereas in this one, they're, they're just doing stunts and they're, they've got fire and it's just, it's all men that are doing it. Us humans shouldn't be like that. We're all just humans. We should have magazines, we should have toys, games, whatever, to be the same. You have a right as a child to have a mirror held up to you that shows back who you are, both inside and outside. And every child deserves to have that sense of themselves. And we have an absolute duty of care to produce and provide that for them. My name's Jenny Hewitt and I'm a research fellow at the University of Sussex. And my name is Sarah Jane Phelan. I'm a research fellow at the University of Sussex. Together we are creating a project which is looking at children's media and toy production and ways that we can challenge the industry to create meaningful change. Our role is bringing together people from a variety of different skill sets but who've got the same common purpose which is to really directly challenge um, processes which they think may be undermining children's development of sort of safe self-identity. So far we've spoken to animators, we've spoken to writers, we've spoken to toy producers and we've even spoken to people who've been inside the industry as, as kind of child actors. What we're hoping is that this will be something that goes beyond these conversations, beyond potentially an article towards a, a book that's not just a, an academic book but a public facing book, potentially also a handbook and then our wider hopes are to create a documentary series which puts uh, these issues quite clearly on, you know, squarely on the platform and says these things need to be discussed and debated. Like say for this magazine as well, there's like different religions in this one, like this girl right here, yeah. she's like a Muslim or something. Yeah, like so we all have different opinions. Yeah different we're all different in our own ways and other humans shouldn't uh, shouldn't make stuff that's supposedly for girls and supposedly for boys because that means that um girls and boys don't have a chance to grow they don't have a chance to to find out what they actually like the last few years have seen quite a lot of change so i think there is some opening up but it remains still very gendered, it remains still very kind of white centric as like the, the default of a character is. Um, and also in terms of kind of ableism and not showing people who have physical disabilities, not showing people of different sexualities or ident gender identities. So I think what's missing or misrepresented does really impact the people who are omitted. And ultimately I think if you can change how a child thinks of themselves and the world around them, then you can change basically the world like this is all about social change for us this is about what this means not just for those children's experience which is ultimately really important in and of itself but also that these children grow up to be the people who make decisions that then impact those children's lives and it just keeps on going <laughs> why do you like pink because i saw that with lila because you saw it with your friend <laughs> what color do you really like green speaking to people who are actively within big organisations or in creating their own smaller kind of new ventures, there are clear narratives that re-emerge over and over and over again. There's lots of people in the room with lots of ideas about what would be best for kids, but ultimately there is a huge amount of financial pressure. Um, and it just seems like a waste not to try and harness those conversations and really use that to try and speak back into the industry. What are you going to ask Father Christmas for next year, do you think? Uh, I think maybe a drum. A drum? And a yo-yo. And a yo-yo? Yeah. That sounds like a great present to ask for. Oh, uh, that's when I'm bigger. Oh, okay. I want a bigger Lulu. You want a bigger yo-yo? Yeah. Okay, because your current one's for little girls. Mm. All right. The way that the world is set up now, it's fast paced, it's very interconnected. You know, if you're not communicating with someone on one media, you're perhaps connecting with them on another four. And you may be showing different facets of yourself and your ideas through all of those different mediums. And that in itself may be being interpreted in different ways. This is how the world works now. What we're doing as social scientists is having some, we hope, measured um, approach to harnessing some of where that's going before it runs off, off and away with itself. And so what we're looking at when we're talking about sort of working with industry is looking at what's happening 
happening on the ground at the moment? What are the pressures that are coming together to put people in positions where they cannot, they literally simply don't have time to consider some of the more value-laden things around decisions they're making for children and young people? Thank you.